All right, and we're getting to it then. Back into the end of the subgate. How do? Yep. Uh, what button is it? Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. I got it. We're in there. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Big door. Oh, that clipped through. You're not. I, that, unfortunately, that's a byproduct of doing it in sixteen by nine because you're not supposed to see the edges of, of that. Yeah, I figured as much. Uh, and that's the thing is, I, I, w I wonder why it's doing that because earlier I did mess around with like cheats and settings and stuff. Um, oh. Uh, but uh, I was messing with like cheats and stuff, and I did turn on the sixteen by nine, but I immediately disabled it. But it just never undisabled it. Yeah, it was weird. With Ape Escape, it turned off just fine. So I'm wondering why it didn't for Mega Man. Oh, by the way, you should investigate those two holes, because they get about 1,500 zenny. You should investigate those holes. Very funny. <laughs> also, that, that uh, Hiroko appealed, appeared out of nowhere. That was quite the jump scare. It really was. Hole in the wall? Anything inside? A refractor? Nice. 1240. Love to see it. Hole in the wall, anything inside. More refractors. 220. Not as many, but still good. Yeah, yeah. Any little bit helps. Alright. That's an extra um, 220 I didn't have, so. Yep. Alright, in the in the in the bigger room coming up ahead, you're going to want to um head to the right and down a hall to get a chest. There's an item in there that's important. I still love how they shoot uh yeah, she cheese. That's a nice touch. Dude, I'm fucking loaded now. Let's go. Yeah, that's okay. the thing about legends is once you once you start getting busted weapons, then the rest of the game becomes a lot easier. Yeah, for sure. Oh wait, is this is this the place I think it is? Hang on, let me. Uh, this is, this is the part in the game where you need the jump upgrade, right? Yeah. Okay, like with the normal one, you can't reach up here, correct? Yes, so this is the part where if you do not have the spring boots, I forgot what they're called exactly, you would have to go back and get them because the, the wall's too high. Um, Which is exactly what happened when I Let's Played this game like six years ago. Right. Uh, it just be really sucked because we didn't know about it. <laughs> It's all good. Yeah, just make My sure that in the, in the big hall to go to the right, so that way you can find a chest. Cause there's a... So worth so much. What's just? Sorry, right. just trying to. No, it's all good. I'm just trying to remember what the dang the jump parts. That's what it was. Yeah. The sp oh, the spring set was the item to make the jump part. Yeah, you, you oh, need to gotcha. get the spring set and make the jump parts, or else, yeah, you're not you're not gonna get the best. Damn, these dudes are worth quite a bit. Yep. Sorry, I'm like killing every enemy for money. I figured at some point I'm gonna need to max out all the weapons and stuff for fun. So. Yeah, yeah, that's. That's a good idea because when you start leveling up your weapon towards not necessarily to the maximum, but once you start approaching it, you start one-shotting some of the enemies and even some of the bosses die re re relatively quickly, which will be useful because the end game, I don't want to say the end game gets hard, but it does get punishing with how fast the bosses can kill you. Yeah. I do remember that when uh, in the Let's Play, we didn't even go to the final boss first. I... I spent uh, off-camera time just grinding out all the Zenny and stuff, and so we just murdered the final boss in like three seconds <laughs> because yeah, we had we we had a maxed out weapon. Uh, I think it yeah, was it, like the grenade launcher or whatever. The yeah, the that's one. the one. That, that or the active buster completely murders any semblance of challenge. Nice, you got the Gatling part. What is um, this for? Uh, I feel like that's important. 
Yeah, that is. Although I think you missed something. Oh, it, it's probably in a chest. Because you you need to find the old hover jets. I don't know if you found those yet. Uh, no. Uh, is there a map? Yeah, this is yeah, all. In, in the big room towards the right, there's like a hallway. There it is. The, 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 it should be over there. Yeah, there's still more. Yeah, yeah. Come on, flip over, sucker. Did you get the started key, by the way, from the chest? Yeah, I just picked that up. Okay. Okay. Love that uh, big money. You... I know, I, I know. Find a hole over here and oh, wait, hang on. I'm just going to make say, that uh... appear on the map. Uh, there's a hole in the wall around here? Okay. Yeah, if you find one, this isn't required, but you'll get a ring for roll, which will be useful. Oh, there we go. Hole in the wall. Yeah, there's a yeah, Ooh, something. nice. Uh, what does the ring do? It's just like a... Uh, it it uh, strengthens your bond with roll, which if I remember correctly means that he'll charge you less to upgrade your weapon. You should have done that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure her bad feeling doesn't mean anything at all. <laughs> Nothing. Everyone knows anytime a side character has a bad feeling about something, it always turns out right. Uh, um, joint plug? Uh, hold on. The, uh, no, the, so the joint plug is also useful, but I think you need to backtrack a little bit because you missed the old hover jets. Um, it's back towards the beginning of the level. There was a bigger room, and if you go down to the right, the old hover jets are over there. Go. Yeah. Uh, no? Yeah, go try going down, I think. It should be over there. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, okay. Yeah, Oops. yeah. Right over there is the is the item. Okay, there we go. Old hover jets. There we go. There you go. All right, now you can continue. Uh, are the the wheels are in this game, right? Like the the roller wheels that make me go faster. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, you mean the um? What's it? The I think you have those foot parts actually already. Oh, I do? You might. Check your inventory. No. Uh, what do they call it? Hold on. The, uh... Oh, I have yeah, a roller board. Do you not have the jet skates? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, you know what? Maybe we never went to roll with them? Oh, probably, yeah. Yo, Maddie, Maddie in the chat. Mega Man, more like stinky guy. Ha, I got him. Shoutouts to McDonald's? What? <laughs> yeah, you should have... Oh, let me guess. You have the, uh... Oh. You just got the yeah. old hover jets, right? Yeah. Okay, so, actually, you make the jet skates from that specific weapon. Oh, that makes sense. Cool. So you we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Sorry. All good. Yo, Mega Rock Gaming, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Yo, oh, but hey, why make but but, but why Mega Man look nice in this? Because this is a nice game. Mega Man, all the Mega Mans look nice. What? Yeah, I, well, I I don't think she's saying any of them look bad. Just that this yeah, one looks yeah, nice. Um. It reminds me of the tweet that's like, people on Twitter always extrapolate what you're saying based on like a yeah, completely yeah. separate sentence where it's like, it's like, I like pancakes. It's like, do you, why do you hate waffles? It's like, I didn't say nothing about that. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, by the way, did you get the joint plug? I know. Yes, I did. You, okay. you asked about that earlier. Yeah, I did. Okay, gotcha. Just want to make sure. Um, that should be it, I think. Um, I'm just double checking. Oh, Maddie was saying no. This one holds up well. Yeah, this is a what a 1997 PS1 game. 
Uh, Legends came out in 97, yes. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Holy shit. These guys be yeah, dealing was, damage. I was, I was gonna say, be careful of these alligator enemies because they are very strong and will kill you in just a few hits. Uh, yeah. Damn, dude. These dudes are... I... Yes, please. Um, Give me that. The lo okay, there's one more item in here, but when you reach the two side hallways, you have to go down the left one, and you'll find one more item, and then you're good for the boss. Alright, left door, you said? Oh, yeah. I guess I just left. My dog's going crazy in the other room. Yeah. Uh, oh, and yo, Mega Rock Gaming. Hi! Hello. hello. Welcome. Hey, Mega Rock. Need to yeah, be Legends 2. Hell yeah. I I think I mentioned it before, but uh, back in... Uh, the only way I played Legends 2 was a uh, pirated copy my dad had. <laughs> uh, uh, d yeah, w which was way back in the day. So it's like, n we don't even have that copy anymore. It's long gone. But basically, it would freeze up at... Uh, there was like an early game, like a frog boss that we had. Oh, to, yeah, do... we already beat that guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, isn't isn't there, like, special? Oh, wait, I can't. How do I How do I break this? There's an item you'll get later that allows you to break that. Jake, wait in the we'll, chat. We'll, this we'll needs more that. craft ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll get that item eventually, and that really opens up the game. But sadly, we're lacking. I think we're lacking all of the items to get that. Oh, rough. Yeah. For every sub, right, he eats so a bite. Not I, true. I, I want to say it's over here in that. Uh, it it was the uh, what did I just get? I just got a thing just now. If you got um, the rapid striker, that's it. Yeah, I got that. Okay, then you're good. That's that's it. Now we just have to, now you head for the boss, and you're good. Okay. Cool beans. Oh, Maddie doesn't have enough channel points to hydrate us? That's a bummer. You know what? Just for you, Maddie, because I have a glass of water right next to me, I will hydrate in your honor. Yo, double. I'll do it. There you go. Hashtag hydrate for Maddie. Let's go. Yep. I, I know you couldn't see that, unfortunately, but I just, I did take a drink. That's the thing. I was, it, hopefully I get money at some point, but when I do get money, uh, you'll do it. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank, Shake Weight is my roommate, by the way. He's in the other room just messing with me. Um, but, uh, at some point I want to ask, uh, Night Tide, yo, yo, Vash, he's in the chat. Let's go. Um, I want to ask Night Tide if he can make an alternate version with, uh, like on my layout, I have a TV. That's my camera. I was going to see if I can get multiple TVs stacked up so that's we can, rad. yeah. Uh, By the way, this is a good choice for your favorite Mega Man game. This game is excellent. It has aged remarkably well and it did a lot of awesome things for this franchise. So good choice. Yeah, it's a good ass game. Okay, hang on. What am I doing? Am I missing something here? Um, I think... I forget if this is the boss or not, but you should be using the Machine Buster. You, oh, I, head towards the other door. That's it, because it doesn't activate until you until you try relieving the room. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, you have to take the refractor first. This, if this was Indiana Jones, do you think the things would activate before you took the treasure? Probably. You know what, though? It's almost kind of funnier if they let you grab it and then they try and kill you. Because that, <laughs> like, it's them, like, dunking on you. They're like, that's one key. Oh, I need two more. Yeah, there's to... a couple of keys around the dungeon that you need in order to access that. I Those weren't listed in my notes, but I can quickly check them out. Yeah, there's there's two more starter keys. Uh, one of them is on a ledge, and the third one is in a chest. Because I think you already got the the other one by the Gatling part. Yeah. 
Yeah, if I remember correctly, the, they're not too hard to find. Just be careful of the gators, because as mentioned earlier, they are deadly. It seems Wheel Gator from Mega Man X2 wants his revenge. Uh, he reincarnated just to fuck with legends. <laughs> Ironically, Wheel Gator was actually, he wasn't a hard boss, but he was an annoying boss because half of the time you fought him, he was invulnerable because his gimmick is that he, there's oil in his arena and he dips under the oil for like 10 seconds to try and catch you on the ground. Oh, gotcha. It's, it, it's not a horrible boss. It's, it's it, usually I fight him uh, second, but it takes forever just because of the fact that I think that there's your chest. It, it takes forever just because of the fact that half the time you're waiting for him to pop up so you can kick him in the nuts with, or shoot him in the nuts with, uh, uh, I already got this one. Part or the, uh, strike chain. Oh, yeah, you might have already gotten that one. Yeah. So, uh, oh, you know what? Wait, hang on. Let's look at the map. Okay, there's a little section down here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, it just bring it, led me in a circle. Oh, wait, no, now I can go over that here. That lets you go over there, and that's probably one of the... Starter, there go, key. starter key. There we now go. Now you got one more. There's a hole in the wall. There was the hole in the wall. Yo, 5100, let's go. Pretty good amount. Hey, credit where credit is due, though. Wheel, Wheel Gator's theme, like his music, is awesome. Oh, yeah. That's Wheel Gator. He's hanging in there, dude. Got that jam. I've never heard his theme, so I wouldn't know. Or if I have heard his theme, it's not any time recently. Uh, it's, it's not... You probably haven't, because it's not one of those songs that's remixed into Infinity, like some of the other songs in the series. Well, that's the thing. I've, like, passively played through the X Games before, in oh, okay. in the sense as... Uh, when It was... Again, during the Let's Play days, uh, we played through X one through four as a one Let's Play, and so nice. we've we've played all of those four, uh, except we never beat Sigma because fuck that <laughs> that, that in, final in which, boss in which sucks. Them, or... uh, we just yeah we played through all of them. No, no, I'm asking which game did you not beat Sigma? In? Oh, four X four. That was the oh, yeah. That was the only one we didn't beat him in. Fair enough. Sigma's three phases in X4 are tough just because each individual phase isn't necessarily challenging, but when you put all of them together, it becomes an endurance test. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, but the, the, the thing about X4 Sigma is there's a lot of ways to manipulate his behavior, which makes him a lot easier because you can prevent him from doing certain super annoying attacks. Um, oh, gotcha. So, for example, I don't know if you remember this, but do you remember the boomerangs he would shoot that would home in on you? Uh, kinda, yeah. You can you can prevent that attack entirely from happening. As long as you're on the wall when he throws the scythe, he'll never do the boomerangs. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, so you can you can avoid that attack entirely, and there's, there's ways around uh, some of the other attacks as well. Uh, you can basically avoid the entire first phase by just spamming Rising Fire. Oop. Oh my god, that dude, he didn't, he didn't give a fuck. He, he, he said, you're getting hit, kid. Sorry. <laughs> and these enemies are starting to deal damage. Is, I, how do you upgrade defense again? Maybe I needed to go do that at some point? Uh, you'd have to buy that from the shop. You'd have to up upgrade your, some of your armor. Okay. Oh, and then this is the part I didn't go to. So yeah, this is go. This is it. Alright, we good. Three starter keys. Now you can head for the boss slash the giant glowing red refractor. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> In the terminal montage voice. <laughs> yes. Terminal montage makes great fucking videos, dude. He he does. That being said, um, and this is just speaking from personal experience, when the two X1 videos released, they got spammed on the subreddit to the point where we actually had to ban the videos from being posted just because it got posted so many times. Oh, that's fair. 
I can imagine. Yeah, so it's like, the... I, I completely respect Terminal Montage's craft, but considering that happened, I'm a little jaded on his videos. That's fair. Lower the shield. Yeah, once you lower the shield, the boss starts. That's that's just saying, hey, are you ready for, are you ready for round two? And that's such a good line. I love that line. Yeah. Yeah. I love that he well, still does this every single time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I would too if I was chased by a giant reaver bot that one time. Yeah, right. He's skeptical all the time. Now I get it. God, I keep what? I keep hitting um, the uh, the circle button to confirm everything because I've been playing through uh, as like a spoiler. I'm working on a review um, for my next Sunday post. Um, it's going to be a review of Tear Ring Saga, um, which is the essentially the middle finger from the Fire Emblem series creator to Nintendo. Um, it didn't work out for him, though, because he got sued by Nintendo for it. Uh, but I've been playing through it, but the fan translation doesn't swap cross and circle. So... Circle is the confirm button, and I've been playing that for like four or five hours today, and so I've just, I I keep hitting circle over and over again, <laughs> and it's it's oh my god! Yeah, Look at this. Oh. Right, Yo, it's so shell shock. Hi, shell shock. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I can't respond. It's okay. This boss battle is Garu to Garu do Doriten, and his weakness is the machine buster. Uh, what you want to do is you're mostly going to be jumping throughout this fight. You want to try and shoot the middle part of the face. Oh my it, it, god, this dude's smoking me! Yeah, he does a lot of damage, so you have to you have to kind of mostly play defense through this fight. Okay, so I can deal damage to him. Oh my god! Yeah, you, have, right. you, you really have to play defense oh my throughout god. this fight. Oh my god, this dude's smoking me right now. I can't see shit. Okay, I'm dead. Well... All right, that's fine. We saved right outside. Okay. It's not so bad. Oh, are you going to have to re-get everything, though? Uh, probably. I assume this game is not friendly. <laughs> it's like, yeah, kid, you lost all your shit. Fuck you. <laughs> it's okay. Um, for... Good luck. Yeah, the, the, the main thing you'll want to do is... Oh, for, the, for your combo, try using the laser and the power razor omega. For my combo? Yeah, for your recommended buster combo. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then for your special weapon, the machine buster will do. Like like I said, this this battle, you really just have to play defensively because of the amount of damage he does. Uh, What do I need now? Laser? Oh, power and... razor. There you go. Power razor? Okay. Yeah. I can do that. And then machine gun, and yeah, you're good. Just, uh... Try again, oh. but this time stay, stick towards the back and try and play a little bit defensively, and you should be fine. Hell yeah. This, this is definitely one of the more challenging boss fights. Skip. Skip cutscene. I don't want to watch it. I've already seen it. But yeah, that dude, I was not, like, emotionally ready for what he dished out, so, you if, know. We're... If anything, if the game didn't save your items, which I'm going to guess it did not... Uh, just go back out and save, and then head back in. Because I'm going to get... Yeah. The yeah, it didn't save anything. Alright, it's okay. I'll... This time you'll be able to get the items more efficiently. The items you need are... The, um... Oh. You need the, uh... The, the Gatling part, the old hover jets... The joint plug and the uh, rapid striker, the four things you're looking for in this dungeon. Yeah, yeah. I'll make sure to grab those. All yeah, right. yeah. You already know where where they are at this point. Yeah, I just need to go get them again, that's all. Money. Money. Money, money, money. Alright. Get out of here. Eat my lemons, dude. No yashichis for you. Yeah, no y Yasi cheese or what? I don't know. I I'm American. It's okay. Yes, <laughs> uh, It's 
I, I think I explained this earlier, but it's it's a reference to Capcom's very first game that they ever made called Volgus. It was an enemy in that game, and then since then it's appeared in many other Capcom games as sort of a callback. Gotcha. Like they ever, played, do they um, ever re-release Volgas? Because I've like never heard of them re-releasing that. Oh, yes. So, uh, Capcom Arcade Stadium, which is on everything at this point, has Volgas. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And it's like $2, I think, or something like that. It's very cheap. Is it worth $2, or is it, like, actually good? <laughs> uh, it's... You can tell it's their first game. I'll put it that way. It's not a bad game. <laughs> If you don't like shoot 'em ups, you won't like this. Yeah, yeah fair no enough. Alright. Hole in the wall. Alright, now we're moving on. But yeah, if for for someone who's a fan of shoot 'em ups, I did think the game was pretty good. It's 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 very much a, a, a first game type of thing, but it's definitely for fans who are interested in the history of how the shoot 'em up genre kind of came together, yeah, it's definitely worth playing. And you've probably also seen the Yatichi in a few other games. Like, for example, I think it's in one of the Ace Attorney games as like a as a clue. Oh, nice. Um, it's in Marvel vs. Capcom as. Uh, one of the things that Jetta pulls out of his bag from Darkstalkers can be a Yotiji. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. Is it, it... Wait, it's that... Uh, what is it? The, uh, like, floaty Ninja Star-looking thingy? Is that it? Yes, it's the Ninja Star pinwheel. Okay. That, oh, okay. Then I do know what that is. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I know that from the Mega Man 1 because I've seen that a thousand times via, like, yes. reviews and In, Let's Plays. Yeah, in the original Mega Man, it would heal you completely. It would refill your special weapons, and it would give you full health. Kind of bust out. It is, and it's it like the only time it appears, right? Oh, uh, no. It also appears in Mega Man 8. Uh, there's a couple of times where you can find it there. Uh, it appears in Mega Man 10 on easy mode, and then it appears in Mega Man 11 on newcomer and superhero modes. Oh, superhero uh, mode. You would think superhero mode would have less stuff? Oh, that enemy is... Yeah, the superhero... It only appears in the last level. It's right before the Wily boss. Oh, so okay. Kind of a Hail Mary kind of, oh, if you got hit before this, here. What did you find? From these readings, it looks like a starter key. That means Doesn't look like it's any of your business, what it looks like. <laughs> Good luck. Roasted. Got her. Uh, yep, and then this way. I think the most recent appearance of the Yashichi was, I think it appeared in Monster Hunter Rise in the village somewhere. Oh, that makes sense. That's cool. Is there a specific reason the that it, it's just that, that stuck out to Capcom and that's what they reference, or... Uh, it was kind of the the Goomba enemy of, of Vulgus. Like it's the it's the weakest enemy, so it it kind of stuck out on on the same way that Goombas have or Metars from Mega Man. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense then. <clears throat> I remember when I first found it in Ghosts and Goblins. I was like, ooh, maybe it'll give me a strong armor part. Five thousand points. Thanks, game. That's very helpful. There. All right, now I need to go around the corner here. Oh, also, uh, Stealthy Potato posted the question of the day. Which oh, nice. Was, what is it? It's if you could pick any game to be remade for modern consoles, what would you pick? Uh, oh, any game? Uh, well, yeah. I, I mean, I want Final Fantasy VII to be remade. Again. Oh, yeah, fair. I, I, get what, I see what you're getting at. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very, I'm, but if, if we're picking the non-salty answer, I'll, uh, oh, God, there's a lot of games that could use, like, a, 
that's the thing. Do I do I pick a game that like could use the remake treatment, or do I pick a game I just love and would like to see with super pretty colors? You know. <laughs> I feel like there's a balance you can make with that as in a game that's really good, but had two or three things that bogged down the experience and a remake could fix that. Um, could I make it a mini compilation? Uh, well, well what's, what's the game you're thinking of? Uh, Kazooie and Tui. Oh yeah, no, that's fair. Cause I mean, there's definitely been remakes of two games at once. Hell Advance Wars is doing that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, is I, I think uh, if you were to do Kazooie plus Tui and then fix all the problems Tui has, that would make them, like, the perfect versions of those games. I'm I'm 100% down for that, so. Yeah, that's fair. There was another example uh, of, like, a two-in-one remake, but I'm struggling to remember what it was. Uh, what, what would you go for, for your choices? Um, so, putting aside the fact that Mega Man Maverick Hunter X was supposed to go up to six, but never did, because that would easily be my de-, de facto answer, just because there's so much they can do with the X series from two through six, just yeah. kind of making more playable characters, fixing some of the dumb stuff, like Zero dying in one hit in X3 or X6 in general. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but putting aside that, I really want to see a remake of Act Razor 2, because... The remake of Act Razor Renaissance was one of my favorite games last year. It was incredible. They the way that they expanded Act Razor and added so many more elements to it and made it more fleshed out mm-hmm. was such a pleasure to see, especially considering the original Act Razor is one of my favorite games. Oh and yeah. By comparison, I actually don't like Act Razor 2 as much for the sole reason that they took out the city building segments, which was part of the identity of the original game so right. if they re- if they remade act razor 2 toned down the difficulty a little bit towards the end and add the city building segments it would easily be one of the best remakes i've ever seen hell yeah down for the, it yeah the, the core plot forming in act razor 2 is very fun i just wish that they didn't take out the city building uh oh wait hang on we should go out and save <laughs> yeah, that's it. Don't don't worry. The boss doesn't start until you take out the refractor. So if you want to say yeah. it, now's the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just as a sort of checklist, did you get the old hover jets Gatling part joint old, plug and rapid old hover jets Gatling part joint plug and rapid striker is the last one. Uh, I swear I did. Am I looking at this list wrong? Where is it? Is is it a special item? Um, checking real quick. Hang on. Hang on. I don't. Okay, hang on. You might not have gotten it because I think it's supposed to be a normal item. I swear I could have got. Uh, here. Let's just look at the map real quick. All right. Uh. It's the one you get down here, right? The rapid striker is in the left hallway near the alligator enemies. Yeah, I swear, I, I just walked in there. Hang on, am I on crack? Did I like walk up to it and then just like walk away? Yeah? All right, then you, you probably, give me a second. The rapid striker is in uh, yeah, it's in that chest, so you, you got it. Okay, then where is it? It might be in a different menu. Do you remember if it was in the right menu last time? Because it might be in... Shield repair, old bone, shiny object, old doll, old shield, ring, rollerboard. Can you look up, like, is there a chance it, like, glitches out or something? I don't remember seeing a glitch about that. Um, I'm looking. It might not also be a normal item. It might be a, a buster part combination. Oh, it's a buster part. Yeah, there you go. 
What does it do? Uh, oh, rapid is the uh, yeah. the speed of my shots. Yeah. You should you should keep the power razor for this fight though, because the the speed of the buster isn't going to matter too much since it, since it has iframes. That's that's something that to keep in mind for like more generic enemies. Right. That makes this, sense. This one you definitely want to focus on power just because of how defensively you need to play to to, to avoid dying in three hits. Right. This yeah, this boss is. I re I distinctly remember having trouble with this boss because it's it hits very hard, even if the it's it's a relatively straightforward pattern. Just the amount of damage it does is rough. I noticed. <laughs> it's a lot like um, it's a lot like Bit from Mega Man X Three, which is the guy, the small fast guy who charges at you uh, in the middle of the stage. He kind of attacks like Bit, if anything. Mm hmm. Gotcha. Um, Even does actually he does whoa. Like shockwaves with you too. Oh, almost ran into those dudes. That would have been not a fun party. Oof. Get some extra zany on the way out. Wait, how much is any of it? 50k? Let's go. We're chilling. There you go. You should be able to get some uh, some good moolah when you go back to roll. Good power upgrades. Uh, can she build stuff in the boat, or is that just going to take me back to the shore? That just takes you back to the uh, Apple Market. No, that's not what the... Uh, what the hell is this one called? Um, I'm blanking on this. Checking monkey. Uh, the commercial area of Catalogs. What's the town called? I'm forgetting. Um, unless that's just unless apple I got market? it right. No, I said the apple market, but that's one of the commercial areas of. Here, let's just. City doesn't have a name. I don't remember. Do you want to go back to town? Sure. Yeah, you can go back to town and maybe build something. Sure. It takes me to the dock. Yeah, and then you can just go back if you want. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Prepare for the boss, why not? Yeah. Okay, it is the Apple Market. I'm just... I'm just second-guessing myself for no reason. Lol. Well, yeah, it's fine. It happens. I kicked her and she stopped. She ceased functioning. <laughs> Get out of my way, kick. How dare you? Oh, there, there is. Cars right here. Now you can upgrade some of your stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, special weapons. If, if you can, try building the Power Razor Omega. That might be a good idea. Because that, that'll, uh, oh, well, you can do that too. You find it underground? Is it? Uh, why don't why you don't, keep it? <laughs> yeah, why don't you keep it? You mean I can have it? Wow, thank you. I always wear it. Hell yeah. Not that it shows up on her character model, sadly. Yeah, right. Those big honking gloves. Yep. Uh, rollerboard and old hover jets were used to make jet skates. Uh, jet Let's go. Skates. Hell yeah. This isn't a required item, but it's very helpful. <laughs> Just careful you don't get hit by cars way ahead of you. <laughs> jet skates will turn off if you release the circle button. Or when you take damage. Uh, you can also slide yeah, while you're enemy, using you'll have, to, you'll have to reactivate it. Ooh, thanks. Read instructions again. No. <laughs> Adapter plug. Okay. Attached to your Mega Man Buster. I forgot what that does. Hang on. Until now, you've only been able to use two parts simultaneously, right? Well, with this, oh, you'll be able to use three. Yeah, there you nice. Go. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, that's useful. Uh, let's enhance some shit. What do we got? Uh, oh wait, I've basically maxed everything already, right? I think you've maxed a lot of things, yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, uh, maxed everything. Buster's pretty good. Um. Uh, oh wait, wrong one. So wait, how do I equip two of those? 
no, it lets you equip more parts to, to power up your weapons. You can't equip two special weapons. Uh, should I go into item development real quick? Oh, okay. Oh, should I go into what? item development real quick? Um, uh, oh, 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 sorry. Never mind. I'm, I, you already did that. I'm, yeah, boing, boing, boing. All right. You're good. Okay. And that's all? Yep. You're, you're good for the boss. Uh, I'm trying to remember how you're supposed to get the Power Razor Omega. It's not a huge deal, but that just further increases your power. I mean, I would hope so. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe they would lie to me. Yeah. Alright, let's get back to the island. Yeah, just... <laughs> gotta, gotta show me the fade out every time come on oh the power razor omega by the way is at the junk shop back in the market oh okay gotcha that's fine we'll we'll get that after the boss then yeah exactly it, it it's not necessary but it may make the boss a little bit easier but it's up to you yeah we'll probably be fine yeah again just uh, just play defensively here all right there we go now yep. now we're chilling Oh wait, I need to special items. Equip jet skates. Yep. Oh, and then this uh Okay, so equip. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you can you can equip an, another thing now. Uh what do you recommend? Maybe this one? Probably the blast unit just because again, for this specific boss, you really want to focus on just doing as much damage with each shot as possible just because of how strong he is. Oh my god, I'm smoking these dudes. Yeah, now you, so technically you were supposed to get the adapter plug later, but because you got it now, you're going to start murdering everything. Oh my god, they fucking legalized weed in Mega Man because I'm smoking so hard right now. <laughs> Get out of here, you shitty little potato guys. <laughs> just, be, just be careful. You don't want to get hit by something. Uh, no, no, I'll be, I'll be fine. I'm chilling. Wh whatever. <laughs> We're good. Yeah, just well, at least, at, at least it's not Contra where if you get hit once, you lose all your items. Oh god, that'd be bad. Oh yeah. These dudes are getting roasted. <laughs> Fucking baked, baked ass potatoes. Let's go. Those damn Harakos are nothing now. Fucking basic Goomba ass. Fucking <laughs> get, get, get him out of my sight. I don't want to look at him. Wow, they flipped in like three hits. <laughs> I just know I'm asking to get my ass handed to me now. Hang on. I forgot about this. Oh my god, I'm the strongest fucking Mega Man that's ever lived! Oh, I've gotten asked this question a couple times, which is, do you agree with the uh, death battle that happened where all the Mega Mans beat each other, and uh, Mega Man.exe ended up winning that? And the answer is yes, that was pretty accurate. Oh, is it? I, I have no yeah, idea. Because Mega Man at EXE can travel through the internet at light speed and can create black holes. So, yeah, he would definitely win. I mean, can't Classic? Isn't that like one of his things in 9? Uh, well, he has two special weapons that can create black holes. Black hole and black hole bomb. But they're not... They're like miniature black holes. Oh, but EXE just actual black yeah. holes. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Those two weapons are very powerful in Rockman World 5 and Mega Man 9, but they're not as strong as the shenanigans that EXE pulls or Hub pulls in some of those in some of the Battle Network games. I think you'll like Battle Network if you uh, pick the inevitable Legacy Collection up. I hope they actually like. Do those games justice? I, I'm not not because Capcom has a record of being cool about collections like that. Like they're good about them, right? But like, yeah. I you know, just every now and then you can't hope you can't help but wonder like, 
Maybe this is the one they screw up. <laughs> I'm up a reaper, but the death battles. Oh. Put a lot of development time behind these, so I, I think it'll be okay. We don't have oh, any no. concrete evidence that the battle armor collection is happening, but there's enough hinting towards it that I wouldn't be surprised if it happens in the near future. Uh oh no, twenty two in the chat. Uh, kind of fighting you a bit. Death battle sucked in their opinion. Uh no, I disagree. I I, I also high on too. How you doing? He's one of the R Mega Man regulars, but no, I. I Oh, okay, you're saying the death battle, like, in terms of presentation oh. stuff. Yes, that I think is a good point. But in terms of, like, fact accuracy, that was pretty, that was pretty much on point. I agree with that. Yeah, Hub 100% Hub smoked all of the other Mega Mans. That was completely correct. But in terms of presentation, yeah, I can agree that they focus a little too much on some of the other characters. Wait, who's Hub? Oh, Hub is so. Oh, slight spoiler alert for Battle Network One. If, if you if you care about that. Uh, a little bit, but I'm sure I'll live. Uh, it's it's Mega Man .exe. I'll, I'll I'll just say that there is a reason why he has an actual name. I'll leave it at that. Okay. All right. Yeah. See, as you can see, now that you now that you have three weapons, you're doing a lot more damage. Than Also, yeah, X did use the saber too much. The The whole point of X having the saber in X6 was to show that he's not as good with the saber as Zero, because he can only do one combo. And it's not even a combo, it's just one slice. Zero can do like a three hit combo. Oh my also, god, I roasted that dude. Okay. Yeah. Got him. We fly, uh, after, no lie. <laughs> after this, you're good. You can just exit the place. Oh, nice. All right, let's get out of here. Also, pushing up speeds you up on this, and I really appreciate that. Yeah. They should have thrown Mega Man Zero, or Mega Man Zero Zero in there. Yeah, I agree. Although, I guess they were trying to go with the the core, the, the, the guys actually called Mega Man, which makes sense. Although, by that, did they, I don't even think they had Vent or Ale from Mega Man ZX, because they're technically Mega Mans, too. They should have, uh... They should have put Sonic in there. Would have made it better. <laughs> well, okay, hold on. You know as well as I do how completely busted they make Sonic in Death Battle because they use Archie Comics Sonic. Oh, that that's just not fair at all. <laughs> like, well, yeah, because because they when when the what was it both times he fought Mario he decimated Mario and it was depressing. Good. Use Archie. Well, Ar Archie Comic Mega Man isn't that much stronger than regular Mega Man. Is he not? I don't. I don't know. I never read. I mean, granted, I didn't no, really read much of Archie Sonic yet either. But Archie yeah. Sonic was always oh, Archie in general was really busted yeah. because they just didn't give a fuck about any sort of continuity with that. True. Oh, uh, I mean, sure, he has access to the Chaos Emeralds, but do you think Mega Man would have the Chaos Emeralds or Sonic? That's referencing the crossover. <laughs> Mega Man chuckles the Chaos yeah. Emeralds. <laughs> Well, he can technically do that in Mega Man 9 because of Jewel Satellite. I mean, those aren't the Chaos Emeralds, though. That's okay, a very true, different... True. <laughs> uh, but in, in terms of his other abilities, I think he only has two extra weapons. He has Quake Blazer, or Quake Drill, which is Quake Woman's weapon, and then I don't even remember what Vesper Woman's weapon was, I'll be honest. It's been a while. Give me oh, one second did? here. Uh, yeah, one second. I just got a I got a message. Someone real quick. Okay. Hang on. Uh, I forgot what Vesper Woman's weapon was called. It's been a while since I read those comics. Um, yeah. After this, uh, you'll you'll return to the mainland and um, just talk to Roll, and the rest will the rest will follow. I will do no such thing. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Why? <laughs> They would give both of them the Chaos Emeralds. Is that ever a thing? Is there ever duplicate Chaos Emeralds? I don't think so. Uh, yes. They've made duplicates. Oh. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, oh, I haven't played that game yet, so there you go. Yeah, in Sonic Adventure 2, this is a non-spoiler because 
doesn't matter. There's a part. There's a part in the story where Tails makes a fake one, and it's ing- indistinguishable from the real thing, but it's just not as powerful. Okay. Well, in that case, there you go on to. And it 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 does function like a normal chaos normal though, because Sonic gains the ability to use chaos control. So. Oh. Okay. Well, I say I says gains the ability. It it's only. It, when you're playing Dark Side and it's in his boss battle, that's the only time he uses it in game. Uh, and it's just so that the fight can take place on a runway, <laughs> and the and the AI can keep up with you. <laughs> All right, cutscene time. Okay, I'm fresh out of ideas. You know, what bothers me most. Jessel Staff, my beloved. Oh wait. Oh no, uh, I think Auntie might have uh, put too many caps. Yeah, he did. Is he, is he muted or? Uh, I think there is a temporary timeout, but. Okay. Oh, Sorry, it was only for five seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah, remember. It, the 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 uh, bot isn't as as uh, forgiving in in Twitch than on our Mega Man because on our Mega Man I think it's I forget the exact number of caps letters but it's more than usual. Oof. Uh, you, you should be good now, by the way, if you want to comment. Uh, real quickly, hang on. I have to fix something real quick. My love for Gessel Shaft is crazy. Uh-huh. Uh, hang on. Just gotta fix something real quick. All good. Also, look, it's Wily. It, Wily. Uh, how's the... Just wanted to make sure for everyone, uh, is the volume okay? Because I, I normally turn down the volume to like 1% on my side, but I want to make sure it's all good for you. Like, is it, like, were you able to hear the cutscene and everything while we were still talking? Upper Kettle says Shaq betrayed me. Uh, and yeah, for, for now, just go back to um, Uptown. I think you're in Uptown, actually. And then Uptown? To... Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if you said you were just walking and you saw Mega Man jump over you like that. It's, it'd be terrifying to say the least, mostly because Mega Man's a fictional character. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's go. All right. Uh, where am I going? Uptown, you said. Yeah. Uh, just, just talk to Roll, and you're good because you're in Uptown. Prepare the flutter! Hooray! Oh, by the way, oh. I can't see your your game. Oh, you can't see it right now. No, it's. It, I'm, I see the pause menu for. Backstage. Okay, there okay, we go. There you go, you're good. I, I, I already played this game, it's okay. Mega Man, could you take care of the refractor? Okay. Finish. Hell yeah. It's ready. It's ready. Okay, I'm yep. done. Yay, our flying machine that has been grounded for the majority of the game is now ungrounded. <laughs> this one, right? Yep, on my mark. Ready. Cell switch on. Refractor rotation speed increasing. Engine field generation at 80%. Safety lock check. Initiating countdown. Three, two, one. Mega Man, now! Here goes. You you would figure that after a crash it would be a physical problem with like the f- the wings and stuff. <laughs> you would think. We're flying. Uh, 
Yeah, as on two says, the bottom runner was lost. Yeah, see there. Uh, Sorry, what were you saying? I was about to say, yeah, like look, you could see it. <laughs> To be fair, they're not quite flying off the island yet. They're just flying around the island. Yeah. All right. So yeah, now the the flutter can fly. Um, before you do much else, you should try and go to Barrel's room, which is if you leave uh, Roll's room and head towards the left. If you go into Barrel's room, there's a pretty fancy chest. That uh, has an item. Hell yeah. Uh, which one's Barrels from? Uh, it's towards the left. That's your room, yeah. Barrels from. Yep. Is there a. You know what? I'm not gonna ask. Never mind. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't wanna ask. Okay. Uh, yo, chest? Okay. It's a chest. Is there anything inside? Bomb, bomb schematic. schematic. <laughs> Why do you have a bomb schematic in a random ass treasure chest? Good question. And by the way, you should go back to roll because she can make something with that. Hell yeah. And I like bombs. by the way, this is where you would normally get the jet skates and joint plug. Or sorry, jet skates and adapter plug. Nor normally? What do you mean? Like if you didn't find them, this is where they'd yeah, be? This is where you would nor this is where I would normally make I would make all three of those together. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um by the way, the reason that item is in there is because this item that you make with the bomb schematic is actually required to get past the next dungeon. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, you need this to get the subgate. Why don't you go talk to him? I think he's in the living room. I will do no such thing. <laughs> yeah, R&D. Oh! It, like, zoomed out there. What was that? <laughs> Woohoo! There you uh, go, you got the to Grand Grenade. That's your next special weapon. Is that the one that I probably upgraded for the final boss on my original playthrough? I'm guessing you upgraded either the Power Buster or the final special weapon, because the last special weapon is infamous for how if you upgrade it to maximum, you can kill the final boss in like 30 seconds. Do I, okay, do I need this upgraded then? Uh, you probably should because you're going to, you, you have to take it into the next dungeon in order to beat it. Oh my god, 100,000, what the fuck? Oof. Uh, alright, what do I, what should I upgrade on it then? Uh, I would honestly say just either, uh, energy, probably, just because you'll be using it throughout the next dungeon if possible. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that's so yeah. expensive. Oh, God, 150k. Oh, gross. I, I think you're good. Uh, you don't need to upgrade it too much. Just make sure that it, you have enough to get through the next dungeon. Oh. Uh, so much. Uh, so I need to change it here then, right? Um, pretty pretty. Here you go. All right. Oh, After that, me. you just speak to Barrel, yeah. All right, and he's in the living room. Yep. Is that infamous thing uh, taken out of the English version? Which infamous thing? The one where Mega Man fist pumps. Oh, uh, I'm trying to remember if it's this game or the next game. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Sorry, just. Oh my mistress. The main gate. Found yep, near the old the city. Last, uh, area of the game. I don't remember if so in one of the so you can do this in both games. I don't remember which game censors it and which one doesn't, because one of them does censor it and the other one doesn't. 
Oh, gotcha. Uh, nope. Stub gate in the closer woods is some kind of key for the main gate. I'm willing to bet anything the treasure those pirates are after is inside the main gate. They prob yes. They've probably realized how close they are, and we are getting to the treasure. Don't let your guard down. Okay. Yep. Check out that, that high-res screenshot of real sheep. <laughs> All right, uh, is that it then? Yeah, just talk to Roll again and you'll, uh, you'll be good to go. That'll, that'll take you right to the Closer Woods subgate, actually, if you talk to Roll. I wonder what's inside the Closer Forest subgate. Whatever it is, though, you can be sure those pirates will be after it, too. Be careful, Mega Man. Should I save first? Yeah, you should. It's probably a good thing. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Save. I keep hitting circle to confirm. <laughs> <laughs> it's driving me nuts. I hate it. The last time I review a fucking a Japanese PlayStation game. <laughs> or at least not without flipping the controls somehow. <laughs> Go to the sub game. God, I keep hitting circle. I'm mad! <laughs> now I'm upset! <laughs> God, just want happiness. Is that so hard? Up and away. I just checked, by the way, and I was I was wrong. Neither of them censored it. They censored other things, though. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I was thinking, I was thinking of something else. Uh, those... Those, those wild dogs that come after you, um, you can only kick them once in this game if they attack you in self-defense. In the Japanese version, you can kick them as many times as you want. All right, we're here. All right, you're good. All right, let's get moving. I've never seen a site like this before. Shout out to one of our uh, subreddit members for making the map of every place in Legends. Oh, nice. Good, good for them. They're very well designed, too. Good cartography there. All right, so Closer Woods is, is, a, is a much bigger area than the other ones. There's a, there's a couple more branching paths. Um, starting off, you will want to uh, go through the door, and then you'll find a hole in the floor. If you jump down there, uh, you can find an elevator. Here? Yeah. It's my guess the power's out in that room. Can you see a switch anywhere? A switch? Yep. Can't believe they're porting this to the Nintendo Switch. Let's see. Oh, if only. It says Operations Room 2. Emergency system activation requires direct password. What? Activation? Like, <laughs> you're literally a machine. How do you have any problems reading? <laughs> Maybe it's artificial eyes malfunctioning. I, I don't know. Right. I've never heard of that before. Well, whatever that is, you need three eyes. Yeah, imagine if you're a cyclops and your one eye gets irri irritated. <laughs> For a second. For a second, I thought I thought you meant Cyclops from X Men. <laughs> I was like, but he has two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need to go find the three ID cards. Uh, and yeah, let, uh, oh! oh, watch out! Look, those enemies are powerful. Uh, 
when, when you defeat them, by the way, you'll want to head towards the east because you might have to get. Okay. Uh, yo, uh, it's, uh, Lan uh, it's, uh, Lan Landy? Hey, Landy. Yeah, yeah, Landy. There we go. Yeah, Landy. Oh, okay. I talked about this last time, but Landy has the most cursed profile pictures. Currently, it's Data with Sigma Space on it. Good. I'm glad it's that. Uh... Yeah, Never eat soggy waffles. Okay, yeah, yeah this is east. <laughs> they, they are more powerful than you by default because they do better than you can. Fair. Hey, Jess. Yo, it's Jess? Hi. There's a few... There's a few it's going good. Yeah, there you go. We're just uh, looking through some holes with Mega Man. Very funny. <laughs> the tele -lens. tele lens. What is this for? Uh, that's for an item you'll be uh, constructing later. Bridge. 450. There we go. Hello. Now, now, if you head towards the western door, there's another uh, chest up there for a guidance. Very Whoa. Best item, yeah. The the, the tele lens are very. They create an item that is very useful. There you go, guidance unit. All right, and then there's also um, if you examine some of the holes down there, you'll find some more Zenny. <laughs> very funny. I didn't see anything. <laughs> you laughed. I know exactly what you were getting at. I didn't say anything. I didn't say shit. <laughs> God, get wrecked, you bitty straw hat looking ass. <laughs> Is Mega Man old? Oh, Jesus. Do I even want to answer that question? I mean, technically. Cause like you, say... you, you and I ha know how old this Mega Man is, roughly. So like, you know, <laughs> he's fourteen. Oh, never mind. We don't know. So, well, I don't know. Question is no. <laughs> Legally, <laughs> Legally, our answer has to be no. <laughs> yeah. What was that one line from The Incredibles? It was like, the law requires that I say no, or something like that. Yeah, the law requires I say no, yeah. yeah. It's a good line. Yep. Didn't like Incredibles 2 at all. See, so Syndrome was, was by far the better villain, but I honestly liked the, I liked the new villain in Incredibles 2. I thought it was interesting. For, for me, the motivation didn't make any sense. Like, because it was like, okay, like, to get rid of the super villains I need to bring them up so I can knock them back down like I don't but no, like they're her. but like I know it's more complicated than that trust me I only saw the movie once so I'm don't take my opinion as like ah yes I'm educated and studied this movie <laughs> like <laughs> but like I don't know I just I, I remember watching it and I'm like this is just a lesser Incredibles 1 that's fair. It does retread a lot of the same uh, plot points as the first game. That's a, that's a very fair criticism. Yeah. Um, by the way, did you get the, uh, the antique bell from the whole? Yeah. I, I, I got the bell out of the hole. Uh, did you get the ID card from the from the pillars? Got the ID card from the chest. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's the chest. Did you find All right. You're good. Uh, there's a couple more items, but... Going. It's in the central door I'll in the north. The There's a big pillar, and yeah, it's. Yeah. No. All right. Um. Yep, okay. Right. That's everything in this room, then, right? Yep. You'll want to head towards the left because there's a pretty small room with a decent item in there. Okay. What? Oh. 
Watch out for the web spider looking dude. Ah! That like actually scared me. You fucking Resident Evil gross looking ass. Get out of here. <laughs> To, to be fair, Resident Evil did come out around the same time as Legends. Uh, yeah, I think it's like a year or two beforehand, right? So. Oh, what, uh, what year was Resident Evil 2 released? That, that's 98. Okay, so that was after this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's a secret room in here with, um... Secrets? No. Yes. <laughs> Um, my sneak. Oh, wait, There's maybe I can just. Small room with the. Did you get the target sensor? Uh, no. Okay. There's there's a small room towards the left with the target sensor. It's in a chest. I'm trying to see if I can find it on the map. Uh, okay, wait. Guidance. Wait, okay. what is this? Okay. What is this? How do I... It's like purple on the map, but there's nothing here? Uh, special weapon. Ah! Didn't do anything. Oh. Uh... Except scare me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to see if, um... Because I see the target sensor on the map. It's, it's by where you got the ID card. Um... Hold on, pause the game real quick. I want to try and see where you are on the map. I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing. Oh, that's... Oof. That's not... <laughs> okay, where is that? Try going back a little bit. You might oh, go... there we go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you might have to go up. There we go. Yep, I'm up. Uh, how long do you have, by the way? We're about an hour and ten minutes in, so I figured it. Uh, I can go for about two to three hours. Okay. No response. Power's off. off. Yeah. Might have to get the generator. I ain't generating shit. <laughs> they can generate these nuts. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Landy. I, I thought it was the Grand Grenade, which is why I told Rob to quit that, because that's that is definitely something you can take. Okay, I think I see. Yeah, yeah, well, okay. I, I see, I see. Um, If you head straight back, you should be able to... Head Wait, into what? like a set of doors, and then the target sensor is over there. Wait, where where am I looking? Okay, you're in that area. Just trying to see something. Okay, so so I came from the top of the screen. So okay, so go around, and on the opposite side of the pillar, there should be a doorway in there. And if you follow that and then head to the left, the target sensor is over there. There you go, yeah. Just heading there, and the target sensor is this way. Rich. Okay. Oh, uh, left. Yeah, there you go. Oh! There we go. There you go. Clean. Clean. Breeze. Okay. Target sensor. Yep. Right. And, um, yeah, now you just go over into the door and you go towards, after you exit the door, go towards the left and there's some ruins and then there's something you can get in there. Sorry, hang on a second. Yeah, definitely, definitely take your time with the enemies. Cause you don't want to, you don't want to get shot at by these guys, especially with the stupid shields. Maybe I do. Well, you don't want to repeat the dungeon. 
Maybe I do. Hmm. Maybe it'd be funny. Would be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> See, you 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 admit it. You're like, you know what? Fair. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. This thing? Oh, that's the right way. It might be the other way because you were supposed to head left after you exit the door towards the. Oh wait, hang on. There is. ID card, yeah, baby. ID card, okay. Now what? Um, hold on. Uh, okay. Sorry, I just I just like lost my place. You got the antique though. You got the ID card. The target sensor. Oh, um, there's a. Uh, there's a ledge somewhere in this room, and there's a chest up on that ledge. It's, um... Hang on. Okay, you just got the ID card. You're looking for the... Hold on. That part, okay. Sorry, one second. Maybe. That looks like the generator you've been looking oh, for. Oh, this is the generator. Can you get it yep. to work? But before you do it? that, there was oh. something. Oh, nice. You should oh. be able to get the elevator to work now. Where is the antique book? There's there's supposed to be a chest on a ledge with the antique book, and I'm trying to find it on the map. Oh, there is a treasure chest up there if you could see it. Like yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, but I have to get there via door. Yeah. Unless there's like a an invisible platform I'm supposed to climb or something? I don't think so. Hold on. Uh my notes my notes just say that um you can use the jump springs in order to get onto the ledge to the right of the doors and then the antique book is in the chest. Uh what? I don't Oh, you know what? I think I might know the problem. I think it's actually in the zone 5 ruins that you break open with the grenade. Uh oh. where the target set Hold on, let me just double check this cuz I don't want to get this wrong. Um hold on a second. Jesus, hang on. This this might take me a minute because I'm having trouble finding the map for this. Sorry, just give me one second. All right, you're good. Take your time. Mega Man's, you know, break dancing. That's all. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. making me sick. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> oh, I know I had it a moment ago. I just. Uh, not that. This one? Not this one. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the ancient book is... What? Okay, so you got the rapid striker. Yep. Maybe I'm missing something? Hold on. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> oh, okay, it's in Ruin 6. Okay. And then from the... Yes, okay, so I know what to do now. Go back to where you found the target sensor, and instead of going left at that junction, you have to go right. Oh, okay. All right, give me one second. And then... Start. Okay. Yo, Landy says make... hydrate. We can do that. Yes. Oh yeah. I need to oh, eat dinner yeah. soon, Jesus. Oh. Uh, you should be approaching. <laughs> what is this? Did you did you go to the right and then after that? You didn't, don't ask questions. 
I'm sorry. What was that? Uh, once you went through the, the the double doors, and instead of going to the left to go to the target sensor, you make a right and then another left. Oh yeah. So the door there should be a yeah. You should, there should be a door that leads you back into some ruins. You'll go outside the subgate for a minute, but um, in there you'll find ruin six, and from there it's a straight shot to the item. It'll, it'll kind of, yeah, just, just go forward and you'll make, basically, you'll kind of loop around, you'll make two rights, and then you can just head straight for the item. Yeah, just over, uh, no, not that way, other way. Yeah, and then up there, there's your item. Oh, cool, okay. There it is. Sorry, it took me a minute to get that, because I didn't realize that item was technically in another, another area of the ruin, instead of in the subgate, technically, my bad. Oh, crack wall needs a drill arm. Okay. Yeah, which you don't have yet. Yeah. No drilly boys here. But besides that, that's the last item. So from here, you just need the ID cards, which I think you already got. So now you can return to the, the generator and rest. Although, before you enter the boss, you might want to save, because I remember this boss also being a little bit tough. I forget when you get the drill arm. I think that's a little bit later. I want to say it's after. Okay, so I go through this door. Yeah. Also, shout out to my roommate. Brought me a muffin. Appreciate it. It's not a lot. Oh! Okay. Ooh. Yeah, okay. you get the drill arm. The drill arm is one of the last items you get just because it basically opens up all of the ruins together, which allows you to like freely move between them as like a subterranean network. Oh, nice. So that's that's one of I don't think it's the last item you get. Yeah, there's there's one item after that that's also very powerful, but it's one of the last items. The last item you get is not required, but it is absolutely ridiculously powerful. That's the, that's the last weapon that you get that murders the boss and th the final boss in 30 seconds. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, that roommate is not Chad. His name is Troy. <laughs> six, okay, six seconds if you power it up into Oblivion, yes. Uh, elevator? I ride the elevator? I think so. Are you trying can... to save, or are you trying to go to the next part of the dungeon? Uh, save? Yeah, Question mark? Wait, uh, how do, how do I know how many ID cards I have? Oh, I only have two. Yeah, you, you might you might need to find another one. Yeah, yeah interact I have... with the panel over there, and you'll just go back up. Yeah. Interact with panel number one. That'll bring you to panels two and three. Continue to jump on the panels, or else you'll fall. What is that a reference to? Uh, Sonic Adventure. <laughs> oh. Oh! I'm trying to remember what, what level that was. That was... Uh, it's any level with the... With the, uh... The ball of light that... That tells you instructions. Uh... Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm remembering the specific level. Windy Valley is the... There's Windy Valley and Emerald Coast for sure have that. I was, I was thinking of Emerald Coast. There you go. Which reminds me, I, I need to do the rest of Sonic Adventure because I only have the Chow Garden left. Yeah. Which will take forever, but that's okay. Yeah. Well, it's not. I mean. Mm. So, I know, I know you're. Way you didn't cheat. Yeah. yeah, I was about to ask. I know you're not a fan of, like, modding just for cleaning things up, but would you at least be willing to cheese it a little bit using in-game glitches? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, in-game glitches is fine. That's that's fine. I mean, I used the pause glitch when I was doing my uh, Legacy Collection streams to beat some of the bosses, because it, it's funny seeing the bosses die in one Thunderbeam, admittedly. Big funnies. Yeah, in-game in glitches is fine. I just don't want to mod the experience because I would prefer to play the game as it was originally intended to get 100%. I mean, that's 
That's the thing. It's not. It's not intended to be that way. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so, wait. I... I don't have the third one yet. Do we know where the third one is? Like, can... Uh, okay, that's the ID card that you're missing. So, the last ID card... Oh, okay, so, to get to the last ID card, that's actually after the boss fight. Oh, it's after the boss fight. Okay. It's after the boss, yes. Yeah. So you have to go to the... The big room with the four pillars, and then just go through the northernmost door, and from there... A straight shot to the boss. Gotcha. Okay. All right. The well, I'll save. Mind... I'll save now then, just in case. Okay. Yeah. The only thing to keep in mind is, um, in that room, uh, that's where you need the grand grenade because you need to throw it up at the ceiling, and it'll break like a, a breakable ceiling part. I don't know what to call it other than that. But... Gotcha. And then you can just progress. Have to do the old jump through the ceiling trick. Pull, uh, pull a world one, two from Super Mario Bros. What do you think of like the older 2D Mario's? I don't think I've ever gotten your opinion on this. Like Mario one, two, three world. Yeah. They're fine. Fair enough. Uh, world is my favorite of them. Uh, and then New Soup is right behind it. Fair. Uh, New Soup 1, I should clarify. I don't like any of the other New Soup games. Fair. I do think that the other ones had better game design. Like, they were mechanically a little more uh, in-depth, such as with stuff such as the twirl or the power-ups. But they do... If you play all of them, yeah, you start to see that they just repeated the same themes over and over. Yep, that's my main problem with it, is that it was very repetitive and bland in terms of aesthetic. But at least with New Soup DS, uh, I know it's reuse of assets from 64 DS, but they at least, you know, they had enemies from, like, that weren't in 2D games before, you know, like, and at the time, it was new, you know? Like, it was, like, a fresh idea, but then they just kept making it like we i was i was willing to be like okay you know they want the co-op and it's on console now that's fine and then and then they released two of them within three months of each other yeah, <laughs> and i'm yeah. like and i'm like oh all right you y'all y'all got enough going on here you you you, you need to stop <laughs> stop it New Super Mario Bros. U in particular is a very fun game to speedrun because mm -hmm. it's very it's actually a lot tougher to speedrun the game than you think because you essentially need to beat pretty much the whole game without taking damage because you need the super acorn throughout the entire game and that makes it hard but it's it's a kind of fun hard where the more you learn the levels and, and it's int their intricacies the more enjoyable it becomes because right. You start going. You start speeding through large levels in just a few minutes, with allowing you to fly over all of them using the acorn slide. But honestly, it's it's for the best that Super Mario Maker Two took the Super Acorn because that was the best part of the game. Damn roasted. Yeah, it sucks because I love the I love the like the way that Mario controls in New Super U, but you're right. It was too much. They released too many games too close together. Yeah. And that's my that's my thing. It's just like aesthetically, the new soup games are just the fucking pits, dude. Like Yeah. They're just it's so really like good. samey and safe. And at least with like you know, at least with like classic Mega Man games, they at least every game had like a new mechanic and all the level designs are really solid and stuff like that. So like even if aesthetically, you know, they're all kind of samey eight bit games, like they're still they still had a lot going on and had fresh aesthetics to go with it in terms of like, you know, the the different, you know, robot masters and their levels, you know, like. Exactly. Like New Super Mario Bros. U and 2 reused the Koopalings. That was three games in a row had the Koopalings as boss fights. And that gets tiring for sure. When you compare that to Mega Man, where every single game had a different set of eight robot masters, 
okay, sure, some of the robot masters had similar themes, like Fireman and Heatman and Flame Man, but they don't, their levels are different. Fireman, Fireman's level is much more of a, like a power plant, whereas Heatman is more of a sewer, and Flame Man is just Saudi Arabia, and it feels different, despite being the same general theme, whereas New Super Mario Bros. U just use Volcano three times in a row. Yeah. Fuck! And it's the same thing with like the, the like New Super Mario Bros. U mechanically is the same as New Super Mario Bros. U. It's the same controls. Whereas Mega Man's Mega Man three introduced the slide, four introduced the charge shot, five introduced the super arrow, and then six introduced the adapters. Like there's different things in each game that make them stand out more. Especially the super arrow in five is so broken and lets you just annihilate the game's level design. It's very fun to, to break the game in half. So where am I going? Uh, you want to head towards the north. Yeah, there you go. And then in this room... <laughs> Landy, to... 0 out of 10, every Mega Man game is copy-pasted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, uh, so up here, if you look in the ceiling, there should be one of those blocks to be breakable. You use the grenade on it, and then... The yeah, earlier I did that. Yeah, and then you can just jump up there. Let me let me just get rid of these fucking pranksters. Hang idea. on. Did you see that one stupid Twitter post of oh, ev they're copy control C, control V, and the assets or whatever? What? Oh, there was some idiot on Twitter who was saying that the Man, that game devs were, were just being lazy and copying and pasting assets, which is dumb, obviously. But it led to some. There's your. There you go. It led to some hilarious responses, such as one guy saying, "Look at Mega Man Sprite from one through six. It's copy pasted," which was very funny. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Is like I don't mind when there's a little bit of copying and pasting, but like, for example, and I'm afraid to bring this up when sword and shield had the dex cuts they said it was because they had a bunch of new animations so when we saw more of the pokemon all of the animations were just ones reused from the 3ds games so it it just was like what are you on about like what are you talking about like so like Obviously, they were referring to, like, you know, the trainers and stuff like that, and, like, you know, the newer Pokemon, and, oh, no, oh, my God, what are these? Awesome. What are these horses? Yeah, All right, so these guys are the Karamuda bushes. There's a red, blue, and gray one. You want to use the laser, the power razor, and the sniper range. Uh, yeah, the Grand Grenade is your recommended special weapon, and you just want to spam Grand Grenade. They defeat the bosses very quickly. Oh, do they? Yeah. Just oh. be, yeah. Be very careful because if they corner you, you're dead. Like they will just keep hitting you over and over, and you're not gonna stand a chance. But yeah, the the grand grenade rips these guys apart. Uh oh. All right, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Get there wrecked, pop. Dead. Get out of here, pooch. Oh. I, I got this. I, I really I got like this, this boss fight because it's one of those bosses where it's a little bit difficult if you if you try using the regular buster, but if you use the right special weapon, they die almost immediately. Oh. Oh, almost got it. Fuck you. There you go. Oh, oh. There you go. I'm not picking up any more Reaver Boss signals. Woo! These things are a threat, a threat because they move faster than you. Yeah, fair. Pretty much, yeah. Karamuna Bush is... Or, sorry, Karamuna Bash is just a fast enemy. Uh, they're a lot harder in hard mode just because I think they double their HP, which can make them a lot trickier to deal with. Because, like I said, if you get cornered, you're dead. Like, they'll mm -hmm. just keep hitting you over and over, and you're not going to stand much of a chance. There's your ID thing. card, baby. Now let's turn off the generator, right? Yep. yep, that's it. There's no more items. Oh, okay, that's it. Cool. Yeah, exactly, Landy. 
I think this was one of those bosses where the first time I played the game. Oh. Ooh. That was kind of bullshit. I, game, I, I think I got through it with one HP only because of the fact that I got cornered and they just kept hitting me and there was nothing I could do. I remember there was a good speedrunner technique that where they purposefully stayed in the elevator and as the, as the uh, Karamuna bashes got close to each other, they would try hitting all of them at once as they uh, kind of snaked in on you. Oh, but gotcha. The, 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 the risky thing is, oh, since you're in the elevator, there's nowhere you can run. So if you miss or you don't kill them immediately, that's it. You're, you're gone. Yeah. That makes sense. Alright. Luckily, that was fairly straightforward. Just kind of ran in circles and shot them until they died, yeah. so... That's most of the enemies in this game, to be fair. They, they, they fixed the uh, Legends too, but yeah. Which... Which door am I going to? Oh, hold on. Which one? I'm trying to remember which one the generator room is. The generator room is... Well, I, I know where the generator is, but I already activated that, remember? Oh, just head back to the flutter, then. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. How do I get back to the flutter? <laughs> oh, uh, it's through the elevator that you went through to enter the dungeon. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Okay, so you're in the big room. So, so, so where, you... so where's the elevator? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm getting there. If you, if you head back through the other side of the room, like uh, 180 degrees around from where you fought the boss battle. If you head straight through that door, you should reach the elevator. Already far away from that, so. Because I jumped down thinking I could just run back out, but I... Oh, no. No, fucking cheap shot, bitch. Get out of here. Uh, okay, yeah, I see where you are. Yeah, you're in the place with the... Uh, the tunnels. Where you got the power lens. Yeah, so, uh... When you exit back out of this room, you should be able to... Um, you should be able to go past these guys and get to the next That's where the um, is. Uh, have I tried stutter shooting? What? It's it's that yeah. That, uh, that's a good strategy for taking out some of the stronger enemies, since it allows you to, uh, kind of, yeah. Uh, nope. I have not tried that. Yeah, it, it's a pretty OP technique that, uh, is good for taking out some of the stronger enemies. I don't know how I got like a cut on my thumb and it's driving me crazy right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it, it was a while ago. I don't I don't know when exactly, all right. but all right. So this is boss room. Go through. Door. All right, now I'm here. I'm in the generator room. Right. You activated the generator, right? Yeah. All right. Um, oh no, sorry. You have to go. The, you have to go back. If you go up the elevator and then um, back through the boss door, if you head straight up, you'll you'll kind of come out of the big pillar in the center. Just head around the big pillar, and then the door towards the elevator is right that way.
Sorry, I got a bit turned around. Now that I'm back in the room I was in, <laughs> yeah. where am I going? <laughs> okay, uh, opposite, opposite side of the of the pillar, so round round about that way. And you got through it. Through that door should be the elevator. I think. Give me that fucking refractor shirt out of here. Yeah, there you go. You good? That'll take you up. And then... Uh, should I save or am I good to not? Well, you have to exit the dungeon regardless. So you well, have... well, the uh, God, you guys suck. Get out of here. Uh, those green guys are not fun. Um, no, the the ID card room is right here. Oh, uh. Or save first, like recharge my shit first, or. Well, the boss battle doesn't activate until, um, un until a little bit later. So I would I would still save, but there's not a boss coming up. Oh, there's no like big fight or anything that would cause me to die and have to redo no, stuff. No, but I'd still recommend saving regardless, just to be sure, because I think I think the next cutscene activates. When you, yeah, I think the next cutscene activates when you go back to roll. I don't think inserting the ID cards activates anything. Uh, Landy's asking, would I hate them if they were red crabs? Possibly. If they were orange, I wouldn't be so tough on them. Where's that monkey at? Stupid monkey. Good monkey. Give For monkey pets. Explain later. <laughs> I give monkey pets. Good monkey. Oh god, Landy, I know what you're talking about. You are a jerk. What? Those okay. enemies that you were fighting, there's a stronger variant of them that is annoying. Oh, fun. I like that. <laughs> and they happen to be red. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, just head back to the ID room and you're good. There we go. Hell yeah. Prototype Anthro ID. Cutscene time. Why are you so far away? In your own thoughts? Why do you sound like you were... Fucking eight miles away yelling at me through a megaphone. <laughs> this that little music piece for a second sounded like the beginning of the Mario 64, like ba bum bum ba bum bum bum. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, with this you have because you've completed the previous three subgates, you have now opened the main gate, the final dungeon of the game. Yo, nooch. But there is more to do outside of the main gate that we'll have to deal with as well. Is it technically required to do? Yes. Okay. I meant the, the stuff before this. The main gate. Oh, yes. You do have to visit all three subgates to open the main gate. No, I'm, I meant... Okay, it's open now. So I meant, could we just go there and win? 
and beat the game? No. Okay, that's my there's, question. There's one thing you have to do first that is required before you hit the game. Rich. That's just how he sees himself mentally. Eight feet away with a mega. No, no, no. I said eight miles away. <laughs> like, he sounded nowhere near eight feet away. <laughs> For some reason, his dialogue was just stupidly quiet there, and it was very funny. Yeah, be right. talk to roll by the way, because you'll get a, you'll you'll get, one of the things you'll get is one of the strongest weapons in the game, and the other thing is also really good. Miles feet, potato, potato, <laughs> Pot potato, potato. I get the joke. But, uh, everything will be all right, won't it, Mega Man? Nope, we're all gonna die. Oof. <laughs> Sorry, roll. Mega Man Legends Two. <laughs> Take a look. You don't want to do this twice because there's two things that you're gonna get. Well, no, she yeah. just makes everything at once. Or wait, sorry, yeah. Guidance unit was used to make active the buster. Active buster. This by far is the second best weapon in the game, putting aside the OP super weapon at the end. This thing is monstrously good. Yeah, Those two were used to make the sniper scope. Yep. Yeah, the the active buster fires homing missiles. And oh. because of how absurdly powerful that is, in order to fully upgrade it, you need over one million zenny. Oh, yeah, this is the one I had. Yeah, this is the this is the second best weapon in the entire game. It is so powerful that they purposely needed to make the the upgrades expensive just so you couldn't just cheese the rest of the game. <laughs> it's it's absurd. Like it looks cheap for now, but like I know later on it's like like a couple hundred thousand per upgrade, right? Like Exactly, yes. Total you need over one million zenny to max it out. Yeah. The there's only one weapon after this that's better, and even then, it's not only optional, but that is the super weapon of the game. Zero out of ten, sniper scope doesn't turn you into an Australian badass who has professional yeah. standards? What? Oh, it's a Team Fortress 2 reference. Oh, gotcha. Yes, yeah, the sniper from TF2. And then the sniper scope just uh, increases your lock on response. All right, now let's. Good, uh, good. How do we uh, travel to. I want to go to the market and upgrade my defense. Uh, if you go to. You should be able to go to. Um, if you talk to Roll, you should be able to go somewhere. Looks like some kind of machine. Hey, um, yep. I am a machine. Um, sorry. Uh, go back to the forest. Yeah, yeah. What do I want for dinner? Feeling like pizza or something? I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, well, hold on. I forgot about this. In order to well, actually progress with the game, period, there is one thing you're going to have to do right now. Like, it's, it's a forced segment. So even if you wanted to go to... Um, even if you wanted to, like, progress with the game, you'd have to do this. That's fine. But you'll be fine. Oh, Lady says stretch. Yep. Is this it? Is this the iconic part? That's it. Flutter versus Gessel Shaft. Oh, let's go. It's time for the funny song. Yep. 
this this is forced progression. You have to get past this battle once you beat once you beat the uh, Cardone sub gate. This automatically happens. Yeah. Good song. I agree. Yep. Hey, that's not the forest, true. So, there was one playthrough I did where I actually was like, hey, you know what? What if I actually had a million zenny and I upgraded the active buster? Fully right before this fight, mm -hmm. I was I was curious. I was like, I wonder how easy it's gonna be. Boss ended in like under a minute. It was hilarious. <laughs> Good. Good. By the way, you saved before this, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure because it's it's somewhat easy to die in this fight, and you don't you definitely don't want to have to redo all that. All right. So, anyways, we got a double boss, or sorry, a triple boss battle up ahead. First up will be the Grey Drackies. That's seen first. <laughs> Miss Charm, please report to the bridge. <laughs> Just keep in mind that throughout these next three boss battles, your health will not refill in between them, so you need to be very cautious here and make sure the flutter does not die because if you're if the flutter's health drops to zero you lose and you have to restart from this phase all right so here come the gray drackies just make sure you lock on to the enemies and shoot them down not really much else to it destroy the warcraft kessel shaft all right yeah like a <laughs> You can also beat the boss in under a minute by removing the disc and scratching off the part of the box art that shows the ship. Wait, is that real? No, it's a joke. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, holy shit! If you physically, <laughs> you think I was you about to say, the box art of the game, <laughs> it takes ten hours, so it meets the criteria. Lol. Hey, don't don't scratch off box arts. People make, take time to make those. I mean, to be fair, they take time to make everything on that game. <laughs> true, true. All right, second boss battle: the Gessel Shaft itself. I love the little data computer screens. <laughs> The, the pop-in is because you're not supposed to be able to see this much. It, it, uh, so the game kind of gets confused when trying to render all of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Teasel's pissed. Big Angie. What? Okay, Mega Man, now it's our turn. Take out their weak points one by one. Alright, so as Roll says, your goal now is to take out all the weak points. There's um there's a couple of them. You have the hole, the two wings, and the skull marking. There's four total. Uh, you'll start with the first three, the whole, the two wings, and then after that, you'll start taking on the skull mark and the front of the ship. And then, if you beat that, you'll move on to phase three. Uh, am I supposed to be hitting it, or...? You're, you're, you're supposed to take out the wings, specifically. There you go. Nice. I'm it off. What? Gunners, what do you think you're doing? And there's the hole, yep, you got it. Knock them out of the sky. Uh-oh. 
All right, you know what? Here, I need to swap out. Nope, wrong. Okay. I can get like no range out of this, so I need to swap out this for Yeah, the sniper range would be useful. Yeah, you don't need yeah. the you don't need the power razor too much anymore. It was, it was mostly for the, the June boss just because of how strong it was. Now you should yeah, that's a good idea. And yeah, Landy's right. If you start abusing the grand grenade when it's above you, you can murder it pretty quickly. Uh, you have to wait till you defeat the hole first before you. They're still flying. Okay, there you go. Now you shoot the skull marker. Right, be careful, because they're gonna start oh. shooting lasers at you. Got him. Mission complete. Mission complete. <laughs> Mission complete. <laughs> Oh no. Not. <laughs> Goodbye, Kirby. <laughs> F. Can we get an F for the Gessel shot? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> one, one, two. I see you in there. Yeah, the bombs ain't quite dead yet. It'll go down that easily. Well, to be fair, they were supposed to appear in Legend 3, so that gives you an idea on, on, on there. No more playing around. Oh, look, right, it's, careful. uh, it's what's-her-name from Mighty Number no. 9. No, Cole! No! No! <laughs> Alright, there are three phases. The Fokker Wolf. Uh, this part, this, this, this battle, there's not really too much to be said. Just try to keep lock on as much as possible. And if it flies over the ship, just be careful. And then, uh, shoot it down. Yeah, you'll be fine. The, the only time where you should be worried is, for, for those of you who are watching who have not played this game before, if the flutter is below half health, that's when you should be worried because it can do a, a decent amount of damage, but it's not deadly until you start getting below 50%. That's when you have to be careful because it because then the missiles start doing a little too much and you're, you can't really survive. Oh my god, these fucking missiles are the worst. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll definitely want to try shooting it as much as you can with the active buster or the machine buster, whichever one you want to clip. Alright, when it flies above the ship, yeah, okay. When it flies above the ship, just mash. There you go. I I literally can't do anything against those missiles. Yeah, this this battle is very much a war of attrition. You you kind of just need to wait until Tron swoops above you, and then just murder her with the the special weapons. This is definitely one of the tougher battles in the game. Oop. Well, I I literally just can't hit her. She's 
like too far away. Are you using the special weapons? What? What? Are you using the active buster or the machine buster? No, because you never told me I needed those. <laughs> well, I thought you I thought you already had one of them equipped. I have the grand grenade. Oh, okay, that's my fault. You should still be okay, honestly. Um, you're right, I didn't tell you that. That's my fault. But I think you should still be okay, because... Uh, no. Uh -oh. I have, like, one... Uh, it might be a bit tough, but you might be able to still do it. Again, that's my fault. I'm sorry. Uh, it's all good. I, I just... I think it's really dumb they don't let you swap those out when you want. <laughs> yeah. You almost got it, though. You still got a chance. Here, I'm just going to let her hit me. Okay, fair enough. That way I can just redo it. You'll have to redo all three phases of this, because that... you can't save in between them, but... That, that's fine. The machine <laughs> buster, you're fine. Yeah. Or the active buster. That would imply he can hold all those arms in his inventory. Well, he can do that in the classic games. That's true, but you're not he's not holding a physical weapon in the classic games. He's just swapping out the ammo. I mean, he's a robot. You could just say he's like like they're stored in his armor or something and they're sure, getting sure. swapped out. So Yeah, the the only yeah, the, w w when he switches to special weapons, he's just using the different IC chips. Uh, before you go to the next part, just make sure that you swap out for the active buster. Or the yeah. machine buster, whichever one is stronger, really. Octa roll. Special weapons. Change. Uh, problem so, with that is how Volna is meant to be human-like. Well, he's a robot, so... <laughs> uh... Technically, yeah. All right, so yeah, whichever one, Active Buster or Machine Buster. Is, uh, is obviously, the Vacuum Arm is the way to go. Um, yes, of course. Is Powered Buster the one to use? No, Active Buster or Machine Buster. All right, here we go. Is this one still? No. Uh, you know what? For 8,000, that's not... That seems worth it, yeah. And then 5k for that. You know what? I'll take it. I'll fuck him up. Whatever. And yeah, you know what? One more. There we go. Data. What weapons you got? I got lots of weapons. Good monkey. Uh, Landy, he has uh, uh, he has all the weapons up to this point, besides the the super one. You know which one I'm talking about? On the drill arm. Uh, oh, now I go back to the forest, right? Yeah. Yeah, go back to the forest and then the cutscene will start and you can go do the aerial battles then. Yeah, back to the forest. Nah, skip cutscenes. Shield arm? Uh, I don't think I have a shield arm. Uh, let me see. No, actually, the shield arm is gonna, you're gonna get after, after this. deleting projectiles. Uh, is that a thing, really? Yeah, so the shield arm does. It acts as a shield. 
And yeah, nope. the blade arm often blocks a lot of projectiles. So. Way better. Okay. Yeah, the, the machine buster is, is definitely well fit for this. Uh, this pass. Aim for the underside and the engines on their wings. The armor should be thinner there. By the way, the blade arm is supposed to be a reference to the, uh, or sorry, Metal the blade. blade armor in Mega Man X6 references this. Oh, okay, gotcha. That was interesting. That's a good armor piece, or armor, armor uh, set. It, Too bad it's an X6. It oh my god, it like ate him alive. Yep. Now imagine this, except it takes five times faster, and there's that's the machine, but or the uh, active buster fully really powered up. <laughs> the entire boss fight is just like I don't know what to fucking do. He keeps winning. <laughs> Just looked it up and you can get the blade arm before the ruins. Yeah, you can do that. Oh! You got your fucking pot shot on me. Fuck you, Gessel Shaft. <laughs> Versus uh, Fucker Wolf. It just because of how jank the game's camera is, it's. God! Fuck those missiles! Those missiles suck! Yeah, they can be annoying. Alright, yeah, there's your chance. Great. Most of the time, you just kind of want to keep your lock on if possible. But I can't. It won't lock when she's that far out. You have to wait till she uh, swoops above you. Like that. I... It doesn't lock on when at all, though. Like, I'm holding R2 and it zooms in, but I have to manually aim at her still. There. That yeah, ripped yeah, apart yeah. her. Nice. Eat nice. shit, you dumb, awful bird. Get out of here. Well, technically, it's Tron piloting that, but yeah. Goodbye. I'm sorry. sorry, Tron. My <laughs> lost. Don't worry your pretty little head over it, Tron. <laughs> Did they ever talk about uh, these two characters' relation to each other? Like, are they brother and sister, or like father daughter? Like, what's their deal? Yes. So the Bond family tree is. Best way to describe it, like. Oh, their siblings' parents are dead, yeah. according to Landy. Yeah. They're. I was trying to give a way to like describe it effectively, but yeah, that's correct. Okay. <laughs> Big Man's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, the bond family tree is. Bond, Bond parents are dead. Olga's brother is Teasel. 
Tron is the middle sister, Bon is the youngest. Gotcha. That's a first aid box, but you don't really need it as long as Date is around. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Clox. Yeah. Keep it to you for your birthday. Aww. That's a nice birthday present. Yeah. You could use a nap, but not just yet. Well, you still got some stuff to do. Yeah. Uh, oh, what do you want? Looks like the main gate's open at last. I'm certain the answers yep. to all, all our questions can be found inside. I bet you can't wait to get inside, eh? Are you going to go check it out right away? Uh, can I save first? Yeah, just say no. Alright. It's always good to be cautious when getting into a situation you know nothing about. What are you trying to tell me? He's just saying make sure you have good weapons, because the main gate enemies can kill you pretty quickly. Yeah, true. Right. Oh. Do you want to continue or do you want to stop here? Oh. Oh, well, there you go. Do it. Do it. Do it, Mega Man. Next time, knock before opening the door. Next time, knock before opening the door. He doesn't fist bump. I told you. No fist bump. Oh, he fist bumps in the second game. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't talk about what, what's in Roll's drawers, please. That's, oof. Oof. <laughs> Let's avoid that one. Come on, Mega Man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with what Landy says. There's a dog or a cat in there. <laughs> right. Alright, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call it because I'm actually starving and actually dying. Yeah, no, that's so. fair. We made, a, we made a lot of progress, though. We got through... The Lake June and Cardone subgates, and we beat the aerial battles. Or sorry, not Cardone, Closer Woods. My bad. Cardone is the first subgate. Yeah. So yeah, we got through the Lake June, the Closer Woods subgates. We got through the aerial battles, and next time we'll start the main gate because the main gate actually needs to be taken on in two distinct segments. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we'll at least start it then and make some good yeah. progress there, right? You so. Exactly. You're, you're basically going in, defeating one of the bosses in the main gate, and then um, you'll need to get some items from some other areas to keep progressing. Oh, all right, then. Uh, I guess uh, we'll handle that next time, then. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining me. Thank you, 112, for joining me. No problem. Oh, man. This game is good. I, I have fun. I get frustrated by bosses, but I have fun. So that's all that matters. Right. To be fair, so, that was partially my fault. I should have told you to equip the machine buster because that makes that boss a lot easier. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. But uh, anyway, have a good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.